Hello everybody, how you doing? Good to be with you. So we're, today we're gonna talk about this question that I get frequently, which is, how do I know if I'm ready? In other words, how, am I, how do I know if I'm ready to wake up? How do I know if I'm at the right spot? How do I know if I am mature enough spiritually? How do I know if I'm clear or clean enough in order to uh, wake up? How will I know when that time comes? Uh, and uh, what if it's not here? Have I suffered enough? Uh, you know, what if I haven't suffered enough? All of this. So let me tell you that the, the real answer to this question is to point out that the question is misdirected. It, because that question is coming from a me who wants to know when I am going to be ready for it, right? And there's, there's no me I or it. I mean, it's it, well, there's it, but there's not anything but it. So it is not going to get ready to become it. It may, and, and it is not going to get ready to go over the edge to, you know, to, 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 uh, to fall into the, uh, the, the abyss or whatever. It just doesn't happen like that because that's all about a personal me wanting to have a personal awakening. Same thing with have I suffered enough? Well, it's very easy to tell if you've suffered enough and then that is, have you woken up? And if you haven't woken up, you may not have suffered enough. You may have, even though your suffering is much less than mine, uh, much less than his or much less than hers, it may be all you can stand because it's not a matter of physical conditions. It's not a matter of what appears to be stressful from afar. It's a matter of what is the, uh, what is the level of suffering that can be contained here without uh, reality buckling, so to speak. And uh, in other words, relativity just giving up on uh, the awake, excuse me, awakeness just giving up on the story. That's what happened with me is that awakeness is that I, I never got ready. I didn't even know I was surrendering when I was surrendered. I just thought I was mad, right? Damn it. This is wrong. And I can't do this anymore. I can't, you know, I can't, um, uh, and awakeness said, you know, I want no part of this story. It had just had enough. I mean, any, the, the Fred story was probably boring, not because it didn't have so many up and downs, but because it had so damn many that the ups and downs got boring. I mean, just, it just, that's the only thing I can think of is that awakeness just bored itself out, you know, by, by full blown suffering. It's, but it's not necessary that it be like that for you. You know, I might can, <clears throat> uh, you know, cut my finger and, steal myself against the pain and you might cut your finger and whine like a baby. And uh, that's because that's the way this conditioning takes pain. And that's the way that conditioning takes pain. There's no one over here who's doing this. That's just what happens. That's conditioning. That's what happens when the finger is cut through this conditioning. And that's what happens when a finger is cut through that conditioning It responds in a different way. So there's no one here to get ready. See, there's no one who's gonna, because there, there's no one here that's gonna wake up. There's no, so there's no, nobody here that's going to get ready to wake up. There's no one here who's gonna suffer enough and then wake up. Suffering is just a, wear, a way of wearing out the story. You know, you can look at, um, look at Course in Miracles, uh, their workbook, I studied that years ago. And when you really look at that thing, and it just gets more and more difficult to where it's just asking you impossible things. <laughs> and so uh, the, the whole point being is to wear out the seeker. And that's what suffering does is it wears out the seeker. Pleasure can wear out the seeker too, where it's just, gee, I've just had all of the sex partners and money that I can stand and more sex partners and more money and more power and more fame just really doesn't work anymore to make me feel juiced up and excited and, and what's left. What else is there? What else is there besides everything? That's what it really comes down to is that you can get it from excess. You can, you can suffer from excess. You can suffer from not enough. Um, but the thing to do is you've recognized that 
the not enough is that that is the excess because even the excess isn't enough. It's the unit telling its story itself a, a story. Well, I've got everything and it still isn't enough for me. No, as long as it, and it won't be, it can't be until there's no me in the center of that. There's going to have to be uh, an, the, the understanding will have to arise that this is an unacceptable world for this unit. This unit would like to divest itself of all its conditioning, except for the fact that this unit is conditioning. This is, this is a bundle of conditioning that is, it is at this moment oppositional to unconditioned spice. So if I get rid of all the conditioning, that means that the unit will disappear. It won't, and it will mean that I didn't do it because, because I wouldn't be here. It would just mean it happened and that I was a witness to part of it until the unit died, at which point, boom, vacancy, <laughs> right? Like it just changed the channel. That's what happens. A whiteness just changes the channel. It doesn't even change, it doesn't really even change the channel. It's running billions of channels, trillions of channels, probably, billions that I know of. Probably trillions if you go with all the quote sentient beings. So uh, it's holding all of these views simultaneously. When drop one drops out, there's or more coming in. I mean, there's people coming to the planet faster than we're leaving it. So don't think that God won't be busy if he doesn't have you to worry about. <laughs> so what, how do I know if I'm ready? Well, you know, I had actually had a person ask me that um, the, this last week. How do I know if I'm ready? I said, well, you're here and you're talking to me which is a strong indicator to me that when you get in front of this thing that you're ready, right? Because we, and what I really said was we are the very, I promise you, you are ready. She was having really difficulty, very difficult awakening session. Just couldn't tell herself the truth, was doing nothing. And, uh, but she did before it was all over, but she just had a really a hell of a time telling herself the very simple truth, which is that, there's only a whiteness and the, the fact that there's only a whiteness, you have to be it. And that is, you are that awakeness as the unmanifest. You are the, the, the which we, we could only say would be like potential awakeness, right? I mean, there's some, something there, but it's not, you, you can't not be there, but you don't know yourself, right? That's the, I mean, what, what did you know prior to the birth of this body? I, I don't remember anything prior to the birth of this body. And I guess, my, my guess is that's going to be precisely what I remember after <laughs> the death of this body. Because I am not this body. I am the animating presence that helps this body, makes, allows this body to move, to talk, to hear, to see, to touch, to feel, right? Taste. All of that stuff, it's and, and smell. Oh, you know, it's 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 without me, none of that happens. Without me, nothing happens. What can we know in the absence of this basic sense of being? Well, you can't know anything. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Nothing exists in the absence of the sense of being. And you say, well, I believe there does to other people. What other people? Can you prove to me there's more than one thing going on here? I defy you to do that. See, one thing means there's one thing, which means there's just one thing, which includes everything. That math of one is just a bitch, isn't it? It's just hard to get around, you know? One equals one. Mm. So difficult. So difficult to tell myself the truth when, when the truth is so incredibly obvious. Have I suffered enough? I don't know. Put the shovel down. Let's find out. Because as long as you're doing this, still digging, hell, you have not had enough. So put the shovel down, man. God almighty. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think, I don't know what it's like. I mean, I dug many a hole. I dug many a foxhole and that turned into a tunnel that turned into a grave, right? Just terrible. You don't have to do that. You could have stopped, you know, you could have stopped 
uh, anytime you notice, well, I'm digging this hole and there's nothing happening. I'm not getting anything out of this hole. I'm just getting further down, going further down. That can't actually be noticed, but it can't be thought about. It can't be figured out. You just have to notice it. It's like figuring out that there's only oneness. What is it that's going to figure out that there's only oneness? What would you imagine it was that could figure out that there's only oneness? Right? Well, I mean, if there's only oneness, then it's got to be oneness that figures out that there's only oneness, doesn't it? So it's not, there's not a Fred over here that's going to figure oneness out. There's just oneness. And oneness is not going to figure one out because oneness is oneness. There's nothing, nothing to figure out. This is it. You don't have to figure anything. What does it mean? It means precisely what you apply, what you, what you assign it. That's what it means. It means precisely what you assign it. So this is, this is oneness right here. It's my newest prop. So this is oneness. Now watch this. I can take that oneness. See, now it looks like two-ness. Now it looks like, whoops. Oh, now it's got a different shape, but it's still the same oneness, except for the fact that it keeps evolving. It just keeps changing. It just keeps changing like crazy. You can't, you know, <laughs> until it drops out of your hand. There's just oneness. It takes all kinds of shapes, and this is one of them. So oneness is uh, the, quote, unteacher over here, and oneness is the unstudent over there, because you're not a student. How, why would you be a student? Who would you be a student of? There's only oneness. There can't be a teacher here. There can't be a, a, a student. There can be a parent teaching, but I can promise you that there's no one doing it and no one getting it. That's just the way this works. It really works so much more simply than you would imagine, because that's what really awakening is, is freedom from imagination. It's just coming to see. Oh, I see. So this is... <clears throat> Th th this is the way things are. Oh, this is how it is. You mean like this? I mean, that really, that there's nothing other than this? Try to ch just check right now. What can you find other than this? Can you find anything other than this? I don't think so. Can you find anything, any more of this? Can you get rid of some of this so that we've got less of this? No. Can you find, it? just look, just check, just check, Go do it the simple part, which is do the damn exercises instead of trying to think all this out with that big genius head of yours. There's, there's a big genius head over here in that one and it didn't do me nothing for 24 years. And, it, and, and it's, not gonna, it's not gonna work for you either. It just isn't. I don't care if you're 10 times smarter than I am. It's still not going to work for you. I've had all the smart guys in the world in, in awakening sessions. By the way, so let me just say that if you, um, if this video is new, like uh, this is November of 2019, then um, there's an interview with me with uh, uh, Valeria Tellis on my website. And um, you can go there and it'll be on the middle of the website. If this is later than that, and it's no longer on the front page of the website, that's fine. Go to the website, look under the even more page, and you can see where I've done numerous interviews over the years. And the Victoria Tellus one will be on there as well. That's quite a charming lady. So um, <clears throat> enough promotion, right? But it's really promotion from Valeria more than it is for me. The, uh, I, I mean, I didn't hunt her down. <laughs> so, um, how do I know if I'm ready? When you're ready, you'll wake up. You don't get ready and then wake up. So that's always been, that was always my plan, is I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna wake up. But you don't get ready until you wake up. You get ready and wake up at the same time. There's not a before and an after here. What you are is outside of time for one thing, but there's just not a before and after. 
you don't get ready today and wake up tomorrow. You don't get ready at 10 o'clock and wake up at 11. There's no getting ready. There really is not any getting ready because that would apply only to an individual that isn't clean, clear enough, isn't clean enough, isn't, you know, I mean, the guy, I've, I've had that thrown in uh, at me before, you know, where people have been told they're not clean enough. Jesus, God, what torturous, what kind of barbarous stuff is that to torture another human being with? So, but uh, I'm not pure enough. Uh, I'm not, uh, I haven't read enough. I haven't experienced enough. I've only been in this a short while. I've only been in this for 20 years instead of the 30 that I know that I need. I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to wake up, which uh, what I'm telling you when I'm, if you decode that, what I'm telling you at that moment is that I'm never going to wake up. I'm never going to wake up. I never, never, ever, 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 because I got to get ready first but I am going to wake up very soon. <laughs> Good luck with that. It won't work. It won't work. Quit making excuses. Quit believing in a story of future that there's a future in which you're going to get ready. There's no one there to get ready. There's only a whiteness. Is a whiteness ready? A whiteness is always ready. Always ready. Every human being in, on this planet has the, the potential to wake up at any given moment. I don't care if they never heard of enlightenment. I don't care if they don't know the first spiritual practice. I don't care whether they know me or not, or they, you know, or they, or that they're the greatest world's greatest meditator or anything else. The potential or the world's worst meditator. The potential is the same. The potential is there. There's no getting ready because there's no one to get ready. And there's nothing to get ready for. There's just this. But Fred, I don't want this, this. I want the exotic this. I want the other this. I want the mystical this. I want the this I've heard about. I want the this I've read about, the this I've dreamed about, this I've dreamed about, the this that I've made up in my head. That's the this I want, which that ain't this, that's that. <laughs> it's not what is, it's what isn't. This is what is. How about that? Look at this. This is what is. Within the, within the manifested realm, this is what is. And when we let that roll to its full extent, it includes everything prior to that as well. Is that, is that, that it's, it's everything, it's, it's what is, and it's, and it's all coming from the source of what is. And that's, 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 that's really what you are. What is is a reflection of you. What you really are is the source of what is. You can use a capital S there if you want, makes you feel better. I use it a lot of times, capital S. Capital I for T, for it, I mean. <sighs> capital M for me sometimes if I'm trying to make sure that we're not discussing the Fred unit. I always use a capital I. But sometimes it means one thing and sometimes it means another. One time, sometimes it means nothing, which is it, it's referring to Fred. Sometimes it means something, which is referring to the I that apparently is, but I can't even claim that I am. I know that that's many of you can claim I am, I am, I am, I know I am. I don't know anything else. I don't know that either. I really don't. I suspect that that, that, that that could be true. It feels like it's true. There are strong indicators that it's true. But I'm limited to reporting only my present truth, and my present truth is whoever, whatever it is that's saying mine, just language, we're hung languaging. So don't expect the truth to come out. Words is the best I can do. Words and props, like the one I dropped on the floor, like words like you know, props like the skull and stuff. I like to use props because they help us to move beyond language. And what you are is beyond language. What you are is prior to language. That's why you can't language this in your head. You can, you know, just ask, ask any enlightened being, tell me what you really are. And watch what <laughs> they can't tell you because they don't know. That's the truth. I mean, they can say some words, 
but I know they're lying and so do they, and you should know that too. And if they don't know they're lying, then they're completely deluded. <laughs> There's no way out of this. There's no way out. So why not, not, why not just notice it? You can't find what already is, you can, but you can notice it. So notice it. Here it is. Here it is. This is it. You're it. Start noticing what you can't find. See you. Bye-bye.